Hey everyone, welcome back. I'm Mike and this is for the record, just in case you didn't know that. Well, this video has been long, long overdue. Um, it's going to be kind of a uh, recent vinyl pickups. Uh, I just, I, I just been, I've been so busy. Um, I still have to report to work. Uh, I'm not one of the lucky ones that has to stay home, but anyway. Um, I still have to work and uh, well many of you may know how I am able to buy and sell and, and um, kind of fill the desire um, or the hobby of collecting records. Um, I, I do a lot of buying and selling and I picked up a record collection. If some of you, if any of you follow me on Facebook. Um, if any of you follow me on Facebook, you kind of you kind of know you've seen the pictures. Um, a while ago, look, turn this down. Hope I don't get a strike for that. But it's Leon Russell. Anyway, a while ago, I uh, had um, the pleasure of buying an entire record collection, probably the second biggest record collection I ever bought, um, second to one I picked up about three years ago. Um, it totaled about roughly 3,500 records, uh, maybe a little more. I went there not realizing, not realizing how many, um, only because I answered a Craigslist ad and the seller had only posted two photos and the two photos did not um, did not show the entire record collection. So um, I was uh, the lucky one that got there. Uh, unlucky because, um, again, if you follow me on Facebook, um, you know I drive a small car. I actually um, downsized a couple of years ago from a Ford Expedition to um, a mid-size mid sedan. Uh, it's a, a Ford Fusion. Um, it, 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 it was packed to the gills, uh, front to back, um, side to side. Um, I've never been so scared in my life when I was driving. Um, if the records had tipped over, um, I was afraid that um, I wasn't, wouldn't have been able to get push on the brake. Um, it was scary. So I'll put a link to my Facebook account down below. Um, it, was, um, it was quite scary, but quite funny. I I would have planned ahead of time. I would have got I would have rented a truck, you know, from U-Haul or whatever for 20 bucks if I knew what I was getting myself into. But anyway, I spent over an hour packing my car and I ended up coming home safely and another hour to two hours unloading my car. My wife was was kind enough to help me unload and um, so I started processing those records that night and I within a couple of days I had already, already sold a few hundred of them. Um, I started selling them in, 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 um, in uh, large amounts. So I have, I still have some left, but I just wanted to kind of, I'm not gonna show you all the ones that I'm keeping for myself. I just want to do a short video. I, my phone's gonna die, so I'm not even sure this video is gonna get done. So I just, I'm just gonna show you, um, let me just show you which ones I, that I'm keeping for myself that I have not actually cleaned yet and I, ha I haven't cleaned and I haven't listened to these. So this these right here are the ones that, this right here, these two um, rows right here are uh, ones that um, I, I started cleaning but um, I have to go through them and um, start listening to them. I've been listening to so many records recently. Um, I have a couple of right down here that I'm going to quickly go through and then these are all been washed and started um, putting them away. I actually put um, quite a few away already because I've been listening to them and putting them away. So I'm just going to sit down here and see if I can get this. Now I'm not going to show you every, I'm not going to show you every record but uh, ones that um, are just kind of the ones that I've been listening to. So in the background Leon Russell, uh, I think that's this one right here. I'm not going to show you every, every one. Um, let me see here. 
Oh, here's one. So, you know, I gotta be honest with you. I I don't think I've ever listened to a to a um Tim Buck Tim Buckley album, but um I put one on today. I think it's over in one of these files. Uh, wow, wow, really good stuff. And again, some of these I've I've heard of, but I've never listened to. Um, oh, here's one. All right, ZZ Top. Cajus, is that how you say it? All right. I'm just gonna see uh, what I have here. Um, here's a yes. A little bunch of. There was a bunch of Jethro Tull. Um, I, I, I probably have all the Jethro Tull discography, I think. Some, there was a, some little feet as well, so I'm able to fill those gaps in my record collection, Dire Straits. Not showing them all, but some that I've been listening to that um, I've been enjoying. Um, I'm not sure if I listen to this. This is uh, Pete Seeger, this original. Um, let's see, let's see. All right, Nighthawks. This is probably one of the coolest finds. Was the Nighthawks? Okay, I I knew more a few days ago, or a few weeks, a couple of weeks ago, when I started listening to this um this i love the album it's the album cover is very simple um and that right there looking at it you know what it's going to sound like you can judge a book by its cover it's really it's like rock and roll it sounds like a like a garage band just just really really like just roots of rock and roll is, is what this sounds like i want to is it like maybe a little blues funk in there a little bit a little blues rock a little bit um unfortunately the album's not perfect it um one side is absolutely fine the other side the first song on the other side is beat to shit it's uh, you, you can't I don't, I don't even think i tried playing it just i was like but i'm an, i'm hoping that i find another better copy um, and I'll keep the jacket. I, I still listen to it. I just skip over the first song. Um, I'm hoping I come across another copy and um, the record is in better condition than this because the cover is really good shape. And hit, actually, there were two Nighthawks. I, I don't think I've listened to this one yet, but I'm um, really uh, happy to find that. No idea who they are and they just, they just sound great. Um, oh, here's the band. This is a double or a triple a double album. Okay. Found some Moby Grape. Uh, two, actually. Here's one. Uh, this is Tommy James and the Shondells. And the weird thing is, I actually picked up that large collection. Then I answered another ad, and I went to this guy who's um, he was a friend of his had, had passed away. And he had a bunch of records, not too many, but he had a, like a, a, a crate or so of records, a couple of crates of records worth. And they were all kind of rock and roll, bluesy kind of stuff. A lot of it was undesirable, so I didn't take it. I don't recall exactly what I got from that collection. It's kind of mixed in here now. But it was really weird to find this album in that collection. Um, Tears for Fears, The Hurting. It was just weird to find this album um, in that collection. Uh, in that large, large collection of about 3,500 records I found, um, this uh, is an unbelievable album, an un unbelievable band. They only had two albums from the research I, ha I have done. It's a, a group called Smith, not to be confused with The Smiths. Kind of like... I don't want to make this video too long. Uh, a, band, a group, a group called Smith. They're kind of like um, Janis Joplin. <sighs> Janis Joplin. What am I? What was I thinking? Janis Joplin and um, just the old '60s, '70s kind of um, kind of sound of uh, of um, psych and psych rock. This is. Um, 
like Janis Joplin and I really want you to get a sense of who they are Janis Joplin and Jefferson Airplane and just kind of that kind of stuff all kind of mixed into one if they had a baby this is this this is actually the, the covers beat the shit but the record is very good plus plus it's, it's not too bad it plays absolutely fine but this is this is their first album uh, and they only had one other album that that I'm aware of this is a uh, this is an import of the Yardbirds it's a compilation I haven't listened to that one yet just the, the, the collection just it had everything in it it was just so awesome to find all this stuff um, Oh, here's, here's another, here's Live Cream. I really didn't prep this. I just kind of, just wanted to kind of share a few things. I wanted to kind of get a video up. Um, let's see what we've got here. Oh, Les Paul and Mary Ford. This is in beautiful condition. This sounds so awesome. Before I forget, I wanted to do something real quick, quick, quick. Now, it's unfortunate because that that one um, Les Paul Mary Ford album, just in beautiful condition. It's a label. Um, I was so happy to find, I was happy to find actually the three more. The records are the probably playable but I, um, I don't want to put them on my turntable. They're just they're kind of they're they're beat up. Um, probably worth a dollar or two right now. The covers though are just I love the covers. They're in beautiful condition. Just unfortunately, the records are just shot. Um, this one's kind of really kind of beat up too. I just not something I'd put on my turntable. This is really nice. I mean. This one is probably the best one out of all of them. Nice color, um, and the the albums are just piece of shit, you know. But I'm gonna keep them only because it's Les Paul and Mary Ford, and the covers are immaculate. Let's right, see what else I have here. Da, da, da. Uh, let's see here. Uh, do that. Uh, here we go. Pick that one up. That's a reissue. I bought that one. Do, 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 do. Hope everybody is is um, well. I hope everybody is um, is. Uh, what am I trying to say? Hope everybody is following the rules and just kind of um, just kind of doing the whole isolation thing. Um, still getting out. You know, we need to get out and and get supplies and whatnot. But um, like the best the best thing to do is just kind of follow the rules and. Um, if you don't have to go out, don't go out. If you don't have to go to work, don't go to work. Don't go to work. But some Jethro Tull, some more, some more Tull. I actually had found a couple of copies, and this was the better one. Um, sticks. Oh, this one. You know what? I love bootleg albums. I, I love Rod Stewart. I love the faces. This is. Um, and this is a bootleg album, the Faces bootleg album. Um, I love the cover. This is like a piece of paper, uh, like kind of taped onto this jacket. Um, it's in good shape. I'm gonna listen to it again, but it sounded like shit. I didn't even I didn't even get through the first or second. I don't even think I got through the first song on this one. It sounded like absolute crap. The recording is horrible, but I love the the um, kind of. Um, the jacket, I like how it looks because it's it's a bootleg. Um, and, oh, Moby, I mentioned Moby Grape. Here's another one. A little pressing. So if this cuts off, um, I apologize. Um, yep, some Alice Cooper. School's out. Okay. And then this one, this is Frankie Goes to Hollywood, uh, Liverpool. This was actually sealed. I'm always nervous when I when I find sealed albums. I, I I paid a decent price. I mean, but you know, I didn't pay you know tons of money. But um, this was a sealed copy. I'm always nervous because um 90% of the time I find sealed copies from the 60s, 70s, or whatever. Um, they're always warped. But um, I'm not sure what this what what year this one's out. But I don't think it's too old. 
but I was glad to find that in mint condition. Mint, 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 mint. Uh, what else we got here? We got some more. Uh, we got some Poco. Like me, some Poco, some Derringer, live. There was actually uh, quite a few um, Derringer um, albums. Jay Giles, you know me, I love Jay Giles. Traffic. How am I doing this like that? Some traffic. Oh, Rare Earth. I actually already had this one, but this one was in better condition, so I'm keeping this one. Original pressing in there. Label there. The Dave Clark 5. <laughs> Love it. I don't think I've heard of them. Got me some Skinner. All these are all of these uh, so far have been in that um, uh, large record collection I bought. Um, Elvis Country. And a lot of this stuff I don't know. I've heard of them, but I don't have anything in my collection of them. Um, this is the records are falling over. Soft Machine, right? The Soft Machine. Okay. Let me, just, let me just give me one second here. Pick this up. So as I said, I hope everybody's doing well. I hope you're staying safe. I hope you're. Uh, <clears throat> hope everybody is um, just being safe. Really. Uh, look at this one. This was uh, Johnny Winter, Edgar Winter. This is a double album, I believe. Another another soft machine. Jay Giles. I had this one, but um, I kept one of them. I'm not sure if this is the one from the collection or one from my collection. Woo! Scorpions. This is a live album. Sounds, um... I believe it's live. Um, this one is... The Scorpion. It's a... I think it's triple. It's actually a triple album. Um, Jacket, as you can tell, is beat to crap. But the records are in fine condition. Another Dave Clark 5. All right. The old uh, classic label there. Yeah. Uh, i got a couple more I'll show. Not too much more here. i got some Bing. Uh, oh, status quo. I think this is like a, this is springboard. No, this is a compilation. I believe this is an import, kind of like a compilation from status quo. Uh, Love Unlimited in Heat. <laughs> Boy, that is. <laughs> uh, Coliseum, I think is. The name of this group, I believe Coliseum is the name of this group. Uriah Heap Live. This one's a double, I believe. Some great stuff, just an eclectic, like, kind of, um, uh, just an eclectic collection. I mean, just had everything. I'm actually going to tell you maybe more about that collection in a second. Loud Wainwright. I actually had a couple of copies of this one. The other one that I had in my actual collection, my own collection, was kind of beat to shit. Um, the cover was all beat up, so I ended up swapping out for this one. So let me tell you more about the collection. Well, before the before I call it cut. Um, so like I said, I answered this this ad. Um, it was it was a couple of days in the making. I was afraid that I was going to be the unlucky second, third, whatever person that would get to this collection. I was one of the lucky ones. Somebody had gone in and for some reason just picked up like a small handful. Um, and so what had happened was this gentleman sells on eBay and his works, his work area was his father's house. Um, that's where he had all his business was, in, was in his father's house. Um, he had boxes, you know, shipping boxes and stuff. And his father, unfortunately, passed away, and he needs to get rid of the house. He had to clear out the house. So um, two or three days of 
corresponded with him, I was able to get there and um, stock my car up with 3,500 um, records. And it was not an easy feat. I wasn't sure I was going to make it. He was like, well, if you want to, um, you can do a couple of trips. I said, no, 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 no. It wasn't that far away from my house, but um, I just wanted to get it done, one and done, and that was it. So I, I'm going to put a link to my Facebook um, down below. Hopefully you can pull up those photos because it, it was it was actually quite funny um, once I made it home safely and I didn't kill myself. So that's really it. Um, I, I've been putting a lot of stuff away. Um, I've I added a sh and I added a record shelf. Um, I'm making some major changes to my system. I've got a new um, sheet audio preamp. I'm making some other some more changes. Um, so I am. Maybe I'll do a uh, update on my system a little bit later when I'm complete. Um, and that's it. I'm glad I got this video out because I need to kind of go through these records and start putting them on the shelves. And um, I've already, like I said earlier, I've already actually already put quite a few up uh, on the shelves already. So that's really it, everybody. I just want to share uh, share some some albums that I that I found for myself and. Um, you know, buying and selling, that's how I'm able to do this. And uh, I, re I really enjoy doing it. So I hope everybody, I hope everybody is being safe. I hope everybody is well. Um, and that's really it. As always, be kind to others. Peace.